So I've been searching far and wide for the best laptop for video editing in the year 2018 and I think that I finally found it. So this is the Dell XPS 15 9570 model, fully loaded with an i9 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of SSD storage, a 4K touchscreen, and a GTX 1050 graphics card. For those of you who are not tech savvy, I'll break down what each one of those do for you as far as boosting your video editing goes, and I'll also tell you my overall experience with this laptop so far. Before we get started, this is a rather expensive laptop, however, I was able to find one certified refurbished on Amazon and that means that it's gonna be in like new condition, it's tested, it's gonna look brand new. So basically, you're gonna get a brand new laptop with a major discount and I was able to save about $1,300 on this particular model. That's enough money to even buy a whole nother laptop completely. So if you're actually serious about making the jump, I'll leave a link in the description down below and direct you guys towards the certified refurbished ones and you're gonna be able to save big time when it comes to this laptop right here. So first things first, let's talk about the display and the design. You have this ultra high def 4K touchscreen which looks absolutely fantastic. The videos and images on this thing look so clear and crisp, it feels like you can actually touch what you're watching through the screen. Well you sort of can because it is a touch screen. It's nice to have the option to scroll through things with your finger in a tablet style mode, but since the screen is not detachable, I found myself really not using this feature often. The screen is made of glass and feels very solid in comparison to some other laptops that have flexible plasticky feels to them. You also have a backlit keyboard for working in the dark and fingerprint scanner that has been pretty accurate for the most part to the touch. The fingerprint scanner makes it much more simple when logging into Windows over typing out a password every time. I simply place my finger on the scanner for half a second and I'm in. So there's a variety of ports on this laptop including a power port for charging, two USB ports, an HDMI input, a headphones port, an SD card slot, which is great by the way because if you're using a DSLR camera like I am, there's no need for a separate USB adapter anymore. You could just slide your SD card right into the laptop and upload your files like that. And there's also a Type-C USB port. On the bottom, there's plenty of ventilation so the laptop does not get too hot and four rubber feet to hold the laptop steady in place. So I do have to say that I love the stylish and modern design of this thing, plus the fact that it's so compact you could take it anywhere pretty much on the go with you. But looks aren't everything, so what's under the hood? So this thing is rocking an i9 processor, which is definitely the fastest processor that I've ever used. Any computer I've used for video editing in the past has been either i5 or i7. So how does the processor actually affect video editing? The higher the processor power, the higher the speed at which you can edit, playback, render, and export your finished work. So the i9 inside of this laptop is a monster and a powerhouse when it comes to speed and workflows. It also helps while playing intensive online games such as MMOs, and that's just something worth mentioning while we're on the topic, although this is not really considered a gaming laptop. So the processor power is definitely top of the line, but there are a few other hardware requirements that come into play when you're looking for a good build for video editing. One of those would be how many gigabytes of RAM your system has built in it. So while editing regular 1080p videos you can get away with 16 gigabytes of RAM, this laptop however comes with 32 gigabytes which is more than enough for some intensive editing. It's actually starting to look like they had video editors in mind while building this laptop. Next up would be how fast you can access your files and programs. So an SSD, which stands for Solid State Drive, is lightning speeds faster than a regular hard drive. And what this means in layman's terms is that when you're using an SSD, all of your programs and files will open up and boot a lot faster than if you just had a regular hard drive. Anybody who's using a PC as a workstation knows that waiting on loading screens can be the worst. And with this laptop, having one terabyte of SSD built in, you should have plenty of room to download all your favorite programs and games on it. So with all the specs that I just mentioned, this is 100% built to be a video editor's workstation. So while video editing mostly relies on the RAM and the processor for power, sometimes there's certain programs that can draw additional power from your graphics card and if you have a higher end graphics card that's going to enable you to do a lot more such as 3D rendering and stuff like that. And not all programs but some can use that graphics card to their advantage. So let's take a look at the graphics card that comes inside this laptop. The Dell XPS 15 comes with the GTX 1050 built in it which is decent to say the least. Being the game nerd that I 
I am, I was excited to be able to download some games and play them on this portable 4K screen. However, what I didn't realize was that there's a reason most gaming laptops are bulky and have that same look and feel as Alienware and some MSI computers do. Graphics cards and laptops are oftentimes soldered to the motherboard and not replaceable. Now this was a bit disappointing as the GTX 1050 will run games, but don't expect to max out your graphics settings on Ultra and run the newer games in 4K. It's not going to happen. This was a small letdown for me as I thought with this amazing 4K screen, games would look fantastic. But then again, that's not what I bought it for. If you want to play 4K video games on a laptop, you'll have to go with one of the bulkier models over this compact model. But I'll go ahead and leave a few links down below in the description for some really good 4K gaming laptops if that's something that piques your interest more than a workstation. Another thing to mention is the battery life on this laptop. So while using it for video editing and playing games, the battery's always going to drain much faster than if you were just browsing the web or streaming videos. In other words, the more intensive the program, the more power that it uses from the laptop and the quicker the battery drains. I was able to get a good two to three hours worth of video editing on a full charge and when I wasn't editing videos or playing games on the laptop, it would last between six to eight hours, which is great if you just need something to browse the web or read on the go. So in all honesty, I have nothing but good things to say about this laptop if you're looking for a workstation in 2018 to bring you into 2019 you want to have the highest specs possible this very well is more than likely the best laptop out right now for your video editing purposes and if you pick one up certified refurbished like I did you're gonna be able to save yourself some major bucks while making this jump there's only two things that people ever really complain or gripe about with this laptop and one of them is the camera placement so the cameras on the bottom of the screen and not the top. Now this gives Skype phone calls and video chats a weird view almost as if someone were sitting down below you and looking up. I'm not sure who chose to put the camera there but it would have been just fine staying up at the top like most other laptops. And the second complaint is the built-in speakers. They are very small so you can't expect to get heavy bass rumbles when watching your movies or playing video games but when I'm editing videos and using this laptop I typically have Bluetooth headphones or headphones plugged in anyways so that's really not an issue for me. So I hope this video helped for anyone out there thinking of taking their projects to the next level. If it did, smack that like button down below, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our cool uploads we do giveaways you could win stuff simply by being subscribed to the channel oh and one more thing that i forgot to mention check this case out that i got it just snaps right on it's almost like a phone case for your laptop boom that's it it's on there orange pc make it whatever color you want customize it and there's a ton of colors to choose from so i'll leave a link down below for that as well and until next time my name is casey nolan with mind tv i will catch you guys later So the processor power is definitely top of the line in this laptop, but there are a few other hardware requirements that come into play when you're looking for a good video editing build. The guy next door, I'm about to go rip the hammer out of his hand and hammer his f***ing skull into the floor if I can't finish this video because of his little tap, 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 tapping over there. I am about to go murder my f***ing neighbor and then I'll have a new uh, dark web story for you guys in no time.